o Nordeste maravilhoso. One US dollar goes significantly further in Brazil. It's equal to roughly five Brazilian reais. This is now my third time in Brazil, and I'm beyond stoked to visit some more stunning places in the northeastern region. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're here to talk about our last Brazil trip together. This was your idea of yes. where to go. And so I was just like, take me for the ride. It's one of my favorite places in Brazil. It's probably my top three, especially Alagoas. And I wanted to show that today because it's beautiful. The water is amazing. The food is like flawless. The people are amazing. I'm just obsessed with that place. It shows so much of Brazil and he had to see that with his own eyes. It's one hour, 20 minutes usually, a flight from Teresina to Recife. It's like flying from Detroit to New York. I looked it up and it's over 4 million people, like huge city. We rent a car and that was kind of a cool experience. It was this little, you know, 1.0 liter little yeah. car and it was a manual and I drive a manual, so I enjoyed that. And then we drove all the way down to yeah. São Miguel dos Milagres. Exactly. Uh, but with some stops on the way. So the first stop was Porto de Galinhas. You just drive about 85 kilometers. 50 miles. Yeah, to the first yeah. destination. You flew the drone, he flew the drone. It was amazing, right? Everywhere we went, the drone just had a feast. And it's a small village as well. Um, so we wouldn't spend the whole day there. So it was like a first good stop for us. That just really kind of set the tone for yeah. the trip. So after Porto de Galinhas, our next stop was Praia dos Carneiros. The town is called Tamandaré. And then there's a beautiful church. It's so picturesque. It's amazing. We yeah. had the opportunity to be in the water. It was yeah. so good. Oh, loved <laughs> it. And then from there, we continued to São Miguel dos Milagres. São Miguel dos Milagres. I was so excited about that trip because I had never had the opportunity to spend the night in São Miguel dos Milagres. And it is such a luxurious destination for New Year's Eve in Brazil. We chose an amazing hotel to stay. We had dinner there that night, just delicious. The way the whole property is set up was just super nice. It was individualized bungalows. Every room was very sprawling, very wide open, just very fancy. I mean, it felt so remote. It was so cool. Like we just, it was a true getaway. That yeah. flawless breakfast. Yeah, so the so breakfast, cool. <laughs> the breakfast. <laughs> right. We paid a little bit extra, like only 60 reais, which is about $12, to have a breakfast boat ready for us at 8 a.m. Immediately blown away by the presentation. The food was delicious. And we got to just sit in the pool and you could just eat. go to the, the sea if you wanted, to the beach and enjoy. Yeah. That was amazing, so close. Um, yeah, so the poolside activities and then an easy walk on that little bridge to the beach. There was one point where we thought we were gonna die. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Whoa. At first it was like, wow, they're really running fast and they're continuing toward us. I mean, no, it, it, was it, fine. it was fine. They were coming in my direction. I, I freaked out. They were just kind of running to meet their, their <laughs> I friends. I was scared of those yeah. crazy horses. So the entire cost of our night and day at Villa Pantai Milagres was $297, 184 for the room. So a pretty reasonable deal for like epic accommodations. Oh yeah. We got breakfast, lunch, and dinner and that was all included in that $297 price. And I mean, you saw it, like the pool, the beach side, how private it felt. That was an amazing value. I just feel like you can't find that in the US. Then we went to Maragogi. I really wanted to scuba dive with Dave. I mean, actually just to do snorkeling at first. It's a perfect destination for couples, for young people. It doesn't matter your age, it's just perfect. It was really cool to just be able to play ping pong or foosball. There was even a, like a mini soccer field for kids. Yeah. 
there were hammocks around. We chilled in there as we, we could order drinks from the hammocks. That was great. Uh, there was another pool there. We didn't end up going in the pool because there was so much else to do. And we went on a boat tour. It was amazing. So basically we joined some other people and we had a guide. So we got to hang out on the beach until the boat was ready. And then we cruised over to a place called Camino de Moises. Unbelievable yeah. scene. There was like drink and food vendors just everywhere. There was like, I mean, this drone shot. Yeah. It tells the whole story, just like unbelievably beautiful. Yeah, it depends on the tides for you to yeah. see this place. It was hard launching the drone from that little boat. I was worried because it was a bit windy and wavy, even with such shallow waters there, but it was a great success. Would definitely go there again. Madagogi and Costa Baja Velha, a better place for families and mixed activities. There was even a magic show. There's more going on. It felt like more of a city. Yeah, There's more people. Yeah, it's a small village. I think it's so worth it just for the water activities, for sure. So then we drove back to Hisifi. Traffic's pretty heavy. We had one night to spend there before flying back home the next day at around noon. Yeah, so usually when you go to Recife, most people stay at this area called Boa Viaging. So the location is great. So you can just walk and you can see and fight everything. So we had like amazing ice cream, acai, delicious tapiocas there. Uh, it was so worth it. And then every time we go to Brazil, especially with Dave, of course, we go to Coco Bambu. Every capital that has Coco Bambu, we, want, we go. You so. can't pass it up. Yeah. <laughs> and then there was that cool, like, farmer's market that was happening in yeah. the middle of the city square. It's called Feirinha in Brazil. If you're Brazilian, you know what I'm talking about. And they always have a lot of tents with food and ice cream and acai, and they sell craft objects and stuff. Um, it was really, it was really nice. Yeah, that was so cool. We got some stuff to bring home. I got this cool like beer koozie. That's like a classic Brazilian design. Our room in Hasifi was shockingly spacious for being in arguably the best location in the city. There was a rooftop pool with almost nobody up there. It was a perfect place to launch the drone. Speaking of, Hasifi was the most populated place I've ever launched from. I was scrambling to get clearance to fly through the DJI app but the data speed was very slow. It was a miracle I was even able to get permission and fly among the skyscrapers. Here we are. It's our last full day in Brazil, or my last full day in Brazil anyway. We're on the 17th floor of our hotel in Recife. Our flight is in a couple hours. And how did you like the Northeast of Brazil? It's incredible, there's so much such a variety of activities to do here. So many landscapes to be seen, so much great food to be had. Brazil's not only about Rio and Sao Paulo, so I love Absolutely. that you were showing like different places in Brazil that are some of my favorite places, mm -hmm. just like Alagoas. So Rafaela and I have an ever-growing list of places to go in Brazil. She has endless places to show me that I'm I super do. excited about. She points them out on the map and I'm like, ah. Oh. I just, I just can't wait. Yeah. And um, yeah, we're looking forward to the future and bringing you more videos that are informational and entertaining. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.